Hello everyone, welcome and thank you for joining my channel. In this video, I want to show you guys how to wire a four-way circuit. Depending on the scenario, it's best to turn off the breaker for the circuit that you are working on to maximize safety. If you are still unsure if you have turned off the right breaker or not, it's best to use a voltmeter to find a potential difference of the circuit. First thing we need to do is select voltage on the meter. And next, have one lead touching the ground wire and hopefully all the ground wires is bonded and connected properly. Next, we will have the other lead to touch all the wires to see if there's a potential difference close to 120. And if we have a potential jump, that means the circuit is not turned off. Don't worry about these low voltage values. Here we have a potential difference, close to 120. That means the breaker is still not turned off. In this demonstration, we know that this 14.2 is the power source. And if you have drywall on, the only way to know that this 14.2 is the power source is by using a voltmeter to find a potential difference and the other 14.2 will be coming from the light fixture. So coming out of box A we have is a 14.3 wire and going into box B and coming out of box B location here we have is a 14.3 wire again that is going to box C location and coming out of box C we have is a 14.2 Going to the light fixture. Installing the light fixture is very easy. The ground wire is bonded to the box and the ground wire to the ground wire to the light fixture if applicable. And then the black wire is onto the brass and the white wire to the silver screw. Let's start with the ground wire. We must bond the box, one wire underneath each screw one wire we will leave hanging about 6 inches long and the other one we can cut short nearby the screw. We will do the same to all the boxes. All the wires here, the ends are stripped down to 1 centimeter. We want to splice the neutral wires together. What I'm using right now is called a wiggle. It's a wire splice connector. Now we will tuck the wires in the box nicely. Now I will bond the switch. Make sure the wire is facing clockwise. You want to go with the screw of the tightening direction. Next. This black screw here is very important. It's coming from the 14.2 wire. Now we have the remaining two wires. It does not matter if you use black or red. Just make sure you do it on the same thing to do the other 14.3 switch. We can put the black wire in here. Now we are on the last box, location B. This is where we'll need a four-way switch. The four-way switch looks like this. On the back, it has four terminals. On the back of the switch, it might say out and in. There are outputs and inputs. We will start by splicing the white wires together. Now let's tuck this back in at the back nice. Now we are remained with these four wires. So this red black, it doesn't matter if you want to put the on the top or bottom. 
but we will have to put the same colors on each side. This side has to be all blacks and this side has to be all red. Cannot mix and match. If you put blacks on this side, this side has to be red. If you put red on this side, this side has to be both blacks. We can put reds on this side. And another important thing is that this set of wire has to be on the output or the top set of the terminals. You cannot mix and match, you cannot put it at the bottom. Now the bottom set. The last wire, last red on the bottom. So remember that this wire set is on this bottom two and this 14.3 is for this top two. Once you have everything installed, we can turn on the breaker. Everything is in the off position, everything is off. Let's test the circuit. And voila, the circuit works. And that's how you install a four-way circuit.